Okay, this is my outdoor stuff here. Uh, on the uh, left here. This is a uh, dialite pad. A couple TCT five way here, and this is a TCT. I don't remember what one that one was. That's another dialite. It's kind of a mixed bag of five way. Actually, I built this one myself from just scrap parts I had. And then another three way. So if you look at it, it's over here would be. All this would be one signal, and all this over here would be another signal. Uh, it's all controlled by my, my traffic controller box. Now, originally, I started out with just just this was the original one that I built for um, the uh, for a model railroad, and then when I've got it set of traffic signals, I just modified the whole circuit to uh, with relays and made it better, but it's actually the same pattern in both one of those. And I built this one, and this one handles two signals and two pads. It works pretty good. And then this was just one that I built for a single um, signal head, and it goes inside there, and then you just plug the signal head in and it runs. Now inside, let me show you what I got in there. This is the indoor setup I have. This is a Eagle EPAC 300. Uh, my load detectors. Custom built uh, this little tiny load bay out of an old uh, input sensors. And uh, just rewired it and everything to, to fit that. So uh, I'll go ahead. I got a couple pads here and two traffic lights so we'll go ahead and uh, turn it on Let's see if it comes on it's doing some diagnostics let me run all everything for me there's the pad green light it's hard to see from up close that's the one I built for the uh, indoor stuff and we'll go back to the outdoor stuff you can see all of our stuff's running you can see the pads going and everything on this it looks pretty cool it's getting ready to change over there on the left and you can see that the uh I can down a little bit further Let's see now we got to turn and after a few seconds that'll go to yellow and then then we'll have a green light on our main street right now it's just in protective turn there's our yellow for a protected turn green with a walk and this guy is all red over there so this is our controller here Let's see it's basically contrast on that or not. But, uh, it's running. See our pad is going to count down now. It's at 25, 22. If we look, you can see our pad is over there doing the same thing. And this is set up so that it automatically goes right to the pad and to the turns, turn lanes, without uh, having uh, any input from the, like a pad uh, button or loop detector in the street. This is the uh, device for the loop detector. It's not connected, it's just sitting in here. And I have the uh, this Econolite ASC uh, 2S2100 controller. It works really good. I, like, I really like this controller. Over here I have an Econolite MMU malfunction management unit, which I uh, still haven't quite mastered, so I don't think it's working right anyhow it hasn't taken over the traffic signal but uh, it definitely uh, is not uh, I don't think we're working correctly below we have our load switches I have this is an 8 bay so I have eight load switches uh, this is uh, this is my main turn 
my main green and my cross turn my cross green these two have no function this is my main pad and this is my cross pad and that's the uh, flasher unit for the for the MMU if it takes over uh, I put some buttons in here to uh, but I want to run it without uh, I want to run it so that it, it works like it normally did. So if I wanted a pad, you could just push a pad on it and show something on there. So if I take this, we go to the main menu here, right? And we go to controller, and I go to recall data, which is number four. You can see I have everything reserved. So let's take the pads out and toggle that, and toggle that, and then enter status. Our pets now have calls on them, right there, and they'll actually operate one more time. And you can see that the uh, the yellow's fixing to go here. So, and you'll see there goes our pet, but it won't it won't run on the next loop because there's no call in it. But as long as I don't push the button here two or four, it won't call that ped back. So that ped, it'll skip that ped, which means it'll also shorten the loop, the, uh, the sequence up a little bit. But right now, it's just counting down. You can see it's 23, 22. You look on our our controller here, you can see the countdown right here, our ped clear, and then our countdown there. So it's 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, It'll go from there to all red. Actually, it's going to go to yellow first. Is there yellow? It's timing out. And then all red. And then you see next. Now it's on three. So our three turn is running. Which is, look down here. This is our uh, turn. And that one's on green right now. So, it should time out here in two seconds. One should have a yellow. And then it's going to go right now to red. And then the green is going to come up. And we have our walk for 25 seconds. So, our walk is going to stay green. Stay in the walk mode for, for that amount of time. But you notice over here, for two, we don't have call for the, the pad so on the next circle the pad is not going to work so here we go our pad is counting down we're at uh, 20 19 and see it over there as well This one goes, it's going to go to our turn, but instead, this time, since there is no pad, it's not going to go to the pad, so it's going to go straight to our uh, green light in six seconds, and then uh, yellow here now. Then red here coming up right now. And then you'll see, you notice we have a green light and still the don't walk sign is still staying in dark, don't walk. And that's because we don't have a call. So let's make a call on it. And when we push the button, now you see we have a call. So on the next loop, that one will actually that ped right there will actually come back on. It's a pretty good uh, system. You know, you got, got a lot of menus and stuff you can do with this. And I want to concentrate on one video just just in the programming of the uh, the Econolite here, because there seems to be not a lot of information out there for the general general public. And I've read through the manual, and it's extremely boring. <laughs> so, where's our ped? Running over there still. That's it so far.
It's running pretty good. It's a, it's a long way from that.